Yo, what's going on guys? It is Insanity here and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to be looking over the Yellow Cake Rocket Launcher within Borderlands 3. Now, just before this video starts, please be sure to leave a like as it does help this channel grow and also please subscribe if you are new. I do Borderlands content like this almost every single day, so please consider subscribing. I also have a playlist on my channel called How to Borderlands for all your Borderlands needs and whatnot like farming guides and boss guides and that link will be down in the description below. So moving on to the Yellow Cake Rocket Launcher, the Yellow Cake is one, it's honestly the first COV launcher that we've ever had in this game. It deals an insane amount of damage, especially if you have the times two variant. It is only able to come in the radiation element, but that's not a problem because honestly, it you won't even have enough time to do enough radiation damage. You just kill things in one shot. This weapon is a limited time item within the Revenge of the Cartels event. Now, if you're watching after this, after the cartel event is over, uh, I'm assuming that they're gonna bring it back and not just scrap all these legendaries. This weapon is obtainable from Fish Slap, Tyrone Smalls, and Joey Ultraviolet within the cartels. Now tips on farming this weapon because it is a pretty tedious farm, but trust me, it is all worth it. Now, in my opinion, the fastest way to get the 30 pieces of intel very, very quickly is what I recommend either doing the Proving Grounds or my personal favorite, the Scrap Trap Nest. I literally get these intels within seconds after you mob all the uh, scrap traps and everything it is literally probably the fastest way to do this so once you have the 30 pieces make your way to villa ultraviolet now my personal favorite way to farm it is get you know just quickly running through the mission and just keep doing the mission over and over again going to get the missing fountain piece and then going putting it on the fountain and then just killing joey ultraviolet i don't even do it the most efficient way possible but the most efficient way possible to do this is to kill all four underbosses before entering the boss fight the first location is in the front door right before you enter the mansion this is a required you know kill the second one is upstairs in the ballroom and the main area up there after you kill all the enemies third location is in the back of the house by the fountains and the fourth and last location is right on the side of the mansion all the way in the back by the dining area and then the last two are in the boss fight now after killing all the underbosses just jump down into this boss fight and kill the two underbosses in there but not joey ultraviolet save and quit and then just retry each time that is the most efficient way to do this but you, you can also kill joey if you do want to but you know again my personal favorite way is just doing the mission really quickly over and over again and this just takes about five minutes each run and with the current yellow cake i have so yeah so yeah that's pretty much it if you guys did enjoy today's video please be sure to leave a like as i said and also you know subscribe if you are new i do borderlands content like this almost every single day and yeah it's been insanity guys i hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you all later